Uh oh, something happened inside there. <laughs> uh. All right, welcome back to the shed. Uh, the last time we went out, actually two times ago we went out, broke the old shock, front shock mount. Uh oh, broke a shot. Damn it. No, just one. And is that right? Is that backwards? It's gonna be part number AR three two zero three nine nine. It also comes with I don't know where it is, but it comes with the rear shock mount as well. I also put new shocks on. That's probably still not right. Anyways, these shocks here. So fully adjustable. This is all. But anyways. Those are the ones I had on when I did, was doing the backflips at the skate park. And that's um, after we broke this. So we replaced this in the shocks, went out and did the skate park. And then we broke this, the clutch. So that piece is in this many pieces so we got this one still isn't going to be right but these right here slipper plate and hub set ARA310946 is the part number This one here. So, let's see, this 
side. So it broke, it broke a lot off. I don't know if the clutch was too tight or what, so I'm gonna loosen it up. Just cause I'm still running that 100,000 in the diffs. So I think I'm gonna loosen the clutch up a little bit and not have it so tight. So we're replacing this one, this one, and this one. And basically we're taking this one out. And the one thing I noticed on this one is it has, a, where are we, a brass ring on there, where the stock one doesn't. So we'll see what that does. So anyways, the new one, like this, then the clutch plate in there. Let's put the new one in, the new one in, another clutch plate or slipper plate, and what have we done here? This one, and then that seats. Put there's a spring. This bearing is a three piece bearing. I lubed it up a little bit, but it's the two and the bearing in the middle, the ball is in the middle. So when you're pulling that apart, you want to make sure that you don't lose any of that. Uh, that one goes in. Like that. This little guy goes in there. And you feel it start to get tight. You're going to take it all the way down and then let's see we're gonna go I'm gonna go with this line here at 12 we're gonna take that down to six and we're gonna go three quarter turn out that's pretty tight still all right so we're gonna go Six and a quarter. This doesn't look like it's sat down right. All right, let's take this apart again. Okay, see how that screw fell out, but it only came out with the two parts of the bearing. So I'll make sure you don't let's stick that back in there. This part out because this is the part that didn't seat well. Make sure that that sleeve goes in there. All right, so that's supposed to go in there. Let's go back on there. Let's make sure the bearing set all the way down. That might have been the problem. All right, then. kind of a roundabout way. Now, I'm going to tighten that down. Everybody looks good there. Everybody looks good there. Let's back down out. That's a half. That's a half. And that's a half. All right. it's supposed to turn there we go all right 
So that's about a turn and a half out. Let's put it in the truck and we'll figure it out. Okay, last piece, bearing, bearing goes on. All right. I've showed everybody, but I did that trick. Uh, Super Bash got it from somebody. I saw it from him. You just notch it out from where it is. He said five eighths from an inch from this ridge to the beginning there, and then, uh, or maybe it was to the center of the gear. I just kind of eyeballed it and then went off of there. So uh, whatever gets in to the <coughs> the diff housing. Supposedly it comes out better, so. All right, so that's that. Let's put this guy in. All right, what I should have done before I put this guy back on. Oh, that's such a bitch sometimes. Let's put your two millimeter guy in there. That's not it. to just lock them up. Right back there. Let me back it up just a hair. Alright, so we'll try that. Let's see how that goes. In business. So she's fixed now. Go out and uh, what we do best, break her. So, anyways, uh, we got some hobby shop, hobby part shocks. We have a new slipper clutch in there, hub set, and we have new front and rear. Uh, shock mounts the other rear shock mount I would sh show you a picture but it looks like it's missing in action right now in this cluster of you know what's anywho you guys have a good day thanks for watching uh, let's go breaker if this helps you out like comment subscribe I'd appreciate it 
And if it didn't, like, comment, subscribe, why not? Thank you.